Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is no news that today is the presidential election. But the question is, who would win? If you want to find out the answer to this particular question, do not forget to subscribe, to like, and to share this particular video. Because this video will give you that answer of who are the chances of winning or who is definitely going to win this election. Let's go down there together. Ciao, ciao. Today is the day Nigerian decides who becomes its president. Well, for the past six months, thereabout, a lot of tension has been going on in this particular country, Nigeria. A lot of things have been happening and today marks the end because today is the day we finally decide who is going to lead us. There are three foremost contenders for this particular general presidential election. The first person is Asiwa Jubola Tinibu, aka Bat, aka Jagapan of Lagos State. Hmm, he's a man of, um, well, I would say, great virtue and repute. He has led Lagos State for the time being, or in time in the past, he has been a governor. And on that particular regard, so many persons said he did so well. Well, that is for Lagosians to decide. And on that particular note, too, he feels he's worth it. He feels he can take over the banner, the bad thing, and rule Nigeria, even as a 70 something years old man. Or rather, would I say 70? He feels he can still run the race. But then, let Nigerians decide today. Tinubu is a philanthropist. He has been a person who has done a lot for Nigeria. And also feels it's time for Nigeria to, you know, give him the baton of leadership to do more for the country. But we just hope, we just hope that the best man has it today. The next person is the person of, um, Atiko, or Atiko Abubaka rather, I'm sorry. But he's also a philanthropist, a man of great virtue also. He has great virtue, a great pattern and great standard. I hope, I also wish him well at the post today. He believes he can rule Nigeria. He believes he has the abilities, the capacities to rule this particular country. But then, let's watch out what happens today. Let's watch out and see how many Nigerians are ready to put in their trust in him to become their leader, to become their president, the number one man in the country. Let's see how many Nigerians are ready to do that. Meanwhile, um, Bola Atsiwaju Tinebo is the flag bearer of the APC, or Progressive Congress. Yes, APC, I mean, the assembly is boom, right? Yes. And then Tiko is the man in charge of PDP. Yes. He's a flag bearer of PDP. Then we have the third person, yes, the third person whom will I say at some point he was in a particular party but had to leave to become the flag bearer of a party for a certain party, the Labour Party. He is the person of Peter Obi. Peter Obi, will I say, is the heart trouble of the youth, the heart trouble of the, the young generation. It seems like he had a lot of persons backing him. A lot of persons want him to become their president. He has a lot of support. But I just hope it's not just an online support. I want to believe that as obedient as we all are, we should come out there today and vote if indeed you are truly obedient. And you should be obedient enough to vote him into power. Yes, he's a man of great virtues, a man of standard, a man that has a lot, a lot. He believes he has a lot, a lot that he, that, 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 that he has to offer Nigerians. In fact, he believes he has a lot to offer Nigerians. And, and let, me, let, me, let me bust your bubbles. He has a lot of persons who are supporting him. Real dignitaries, intellectuals are supporting him. Just a few days ago, Chimamanda Ngoza DJ threw in her open support for Peter Obi. And I must say, I listened to all her um, words and her, I followed her, her, her or her pages. I realized that, yes, genuinely, genuinely, this man has virtues to rule this country. But I'm so scared that um, it shouldn't just be a social media opera. There should be more to that. I want to believe a lot of persons will be out there today at the polls to vote in who genuinely should rule this country. But then, the question is, who would win? That question is still unanswered because a lot of things are going to happen. It's an election, it's not, it's not a, a secondary school class position election. All these aspirants have their abilities and strength. I'm not going to, um, 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 we're not going to dispute the fact that some of these aspirants are very good with the underground. Some of these other aspirants are very good with the internet. Some of these other aspirants are very good with the masses. We also happen in enter process, enter process rather. But the question is, who is going to win at the polls today? Now, the ability of the person to win is dependent on you and I. Yes, that brings us to the second question: Who does God really want to rule Nigeria? Who does God really want to rule this country? Is it the bat? Is it the articulated movement? Or is it the obedient movement? Who does God really want to rule this country? A lot of prophecies have been flying over the over the weeks. A lot of persons have been saying that Saul will come first. 
A lot of persons have been saying that Saul had already come. A lot of persons are saying a lot of things. But the question should remain, who is going to win today? Well, if I'm to analyze this particular ongoing election, I'm not going to lie. The truth is that um, Peter will be the obedient movement, has a lot of persons backing him, has a lot of youths backing him, based on the social media I'm seeing. If every single person in the social media comes out and throws in their support, then definitely the obedient movement is going to, yes, is going to pull in much crowd. But when, when everybody who um, is bragging on social media fails to throw in their support, that becomes the problem. But when everyone who is bragging on social media, posting on social media, claiming to be obedient, refuse to throw in their support today, that becomes a major problem. Yes. So please, if you want to be obedient, be obedient at the poll. Then the next person is um, Bola Asiwaju Tenebo. I'm not going to lie, he actually has chances. Great chance in the sense that Nigeria has a mentality of voting party rather than individual. So for the fact that he belongs to a key strong opposition party in the country, a particular party that is currently in power gives him a chance of winning. Yes, gives him a chance at the poll. I'm not going to lie. Gives him a chance at the poll because most Nigerians want to vote their political party. The old man in the house, the old mama over there do not know individuals. All they want to hear is APC, PDP, or Labour Party, the broom, the umbrella, or the mama picking and papa. That is just it. So most persons vote in parties. And for that particular for that particular result, for the particular fact that most of the persons, the old men, the, the old women out there vote in parties, gives him a chance at the poll. Yes, we cannot keep our, our, our eyes closed like he doesn't have a chance at the poll. The man has a chance at the poll, like a very great chance at the poll. Other than the fact that he has been in power before, he's a politician, a great politician that knows his ways around the election. He knows his standard ways around the election. And not just that, a lot of persons believe in him. The same way a lot of persons believe in the obedience movement, a lot of persons believe in the articulated movement, Yes, a lot of person believes in this man. A lot of person believes he has the abilities, the capacities to rule this country. Well, let those persons decide, but let God have the final say. Then we also have the next person in question. We have uh, Atiku Abubakar. <clears throat> Atiku Abubakar, um, at, yes, he also has a chance at the poll. For the fact that he has, um, he belongs to a very strong opposition party, the Pro Democratic Party, PDP, gives him a great chance at the poll. You know, just like they say, when a person is consistent at a particular thing, yes, the chances of getting that thing becomes very close. So yes, he also has a very great chance at the poll. And the abilities for us to get the perfect leader, not really a perfect leader because no one can be perfect, but the person that we at least, or Nigerians can at least look onto and believe that yes, this is who is going to take us, even if not to the promised land, but very close to the promised land, then allow the other person to take us to the remaining land. Then it's going to be decided today. And that ability, that power to decide who takes us to the promised land or close to the promised land lies in your hand. So I will enjoin you today to go out there and cast your vote. If you have not, please be on your way. Cast your vote and let your vote count. Do not be on the opinion that okay, my vote is not going to count. No, I'm telling you the truth. Your vote is going to count today. And then the question is, who does God really want? I can't I can't tell you really that this is who God wants, but I'll tell you to vote your conscience. But I don't even trust you to vote your conscience because some of you have sold your conscience. So please, don't vote your conscience. Vote for the sake of your or of the sanity of your unborn children. Because the truth is, if you are 20 years today, in the next eight years you'll be 28. If you are 22, in the next eight years you'll be you 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 you'll you be 30. Yes, you'll be 30. And oh my god, oh my god, that is a long year for you to start your career, your children, and everything. So please vote wisely, even if you're unwise, vote wisely. And for who God wants, God has a way of it. God has a way of making his own come into position because God is still God. I want to believe that all these persons who are obedient to the things of God will definitely get the reward. Thank you so much. As we await, is going to win today let us all be optimistic because the fate of nigeria lies in our hands and i pray that the result of today's election would not lead us to more sorrow and pain god bless nigeria long live nigeria